in this rat's nest of wiring this I'm going to braid on um, what do you call it? I don't know. I'm going to do that differently. Anyway, I've got to put the pan and tilt on. So luckily I routed um, the four extra wires that I need um, off the Easy UHF. I've routed them through so they're just out here. So I'm going to use channel two, uh, channel three and channel four as the pan and tilt. So I've got to get those two there. And I've got to put a wire somewhere, I don't know. But I've got to extend them for the pan and tilt, obviously. I'm just getting it ready to glue the two halves of the fuselage together. Uh, just to give you an idea. And there's my hand. I've got quite a big hands, actually. So, anyway, I've um, done a test fit. And it's all pretty much perfect. So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using epoxy again, uh, 30 minute epoxy. So I've taped everything down that can go loose just in case it gets, uh, there's any overspill or something and it gets stuck in the epoxy. So I'm going to glue the two halves together. It's all glued. It's just sitting. Nearly gone off now. Now, when you want, if you want to get this uh, get masking tape off, um, I, I do recommend you use masking tape when you you sticking these two together. But when you pull that off, it leaves a line. It's it's very it's hard to show. Well, I can't show you because I haven't done it on this one. On my Skywalker, I did because I just ripped it off and it made a right mess of it. If you want to get it off, get some isopropyl alcohol. Um, put it on a piece of kitchen towel or whatever, you know, and just wipe it across the uh, masking tape itself and then leave it for uh, 20 seconds. And it does actually pull it off and doesn't leave any mark at all. So I'm just going to leave this now for, I don't know, about another half an hour just to make damn sure that it's all set 100% and then I'll take that off. The size of this fuse large, I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is really big. I'll just test fit everything in the fuse large and it all fits. Nice and snug. So there's the vector in there. These wires go to the wings. Air speed sensor up the front, which pops back in in case of impact. I'm going to put some uh, put a rubber ring around that or something, a rubber grommet to stop it from accidentally going back in. There you go. So I'm very happy. Can you tell? It's had two coats. I masked up the areas that aren't going to be seen that I just don't need to paint. I'm not going to do inside, obviously. Apart from a couple of pieces like in there. Anyway, that's done. It's come out very, very well, actually. I haven't done the bottom because the uh, the belly pan's going on there. Now the other thing I've done, obviously that's the motor mount. I've put these, um, what do they call them now? Self gripping, self encapsulating something nuts or whatever. So the motor's going to go on there, and then I've got these um, their M4, M4 bolts, which are going to go in there. So the first thing I've got to do is glue that on. Lovely. So I've cut all this out. I've cut the uh, the areas out to go with the things. Now what I'm going to do is on here. I'm going to get. I've only got this hand cream. You're better with Vaseline. 
um, but I've got hand cream so what I'm going to do is put a blob of hand cream just in the, in the thread just to stop it from going back in the thread, the um, epoxy. I've decided I'm going to have some uh, undercarriage on here because, I mean number one, I put the camera, the Mobius pointing downwards like that and number two because I like undercarriage. Now I've got this steerable undercarriage here um, that spring is mega strong, this is made for a far bigger plane but you know now to have this in the right position that's going to have to sit up that eye and also with this one if you, you add the height of the wheel as well that's probably going to be you know very high so I'm going to have to cut this down and uh, bend it in another, another place and also I'm going to have to cut that, probably cut it down to here I don't know yet so it will um, sit considerably lower now I mean, so I've cut it down and I've marked it out so what I'm going to do now is, the wheel's going to go on there obviously, I've got to bend it this way there and then I've got to bend it straight there so it'll give it, so the centre of gravity or the centre of mass whatever you want to call it is going to be directly over the wheel, I think that'll be enough. I've got wheels. So I've got one on this side and I've got one on the other side. Also, as you've seen the pan and tilt's done and I've also got a wheel on the front. So I've got to get this off. Hang on. And I've also got steering. Um, I know it's a micro servo but it works perfectly, don't worry. Uh, this here is just for, um, it's just to stop this from moving basically, it's just a block of um, uh, balsa wood. There's a piece of plywood on the front and a piece of plywood on the back and also a piece of plywood underneath just to uh, strengthen it all. So that works perfectly actually. Now the reason why I've had to do that there is because the nut to hold this control arm in is at the back and I couldn't, I can't have that that way because I can't get to the bloody nut, the grub screw. But anyway that works, look. And it hasn't come out, it hasn't come out too bad. It doesn't turn that much, but I don't need it to. That's going to be um, that's going to be fitted to the rudder because this thing hasn't got a rudder. I decided I'm going to uh, fit that to the rudder, so I've got some uh, some steering on it. So with the canopy on there, I'm not doing this gloss because of the reflection and everything. I'm, I'm going to get I am going to get reflection off this um, round here. When that's pointing down, so I'm not because when this pans round, uh, I don't want any more reflection that I really do need to. I know it's not going to look perfect, but you know it's all right. I quite like it. I've also put the um, mounted the motor on the back. Well, where else would you put it, Tony? So that's all. Uh, nice and steady. I'm going to put velcro on there, that's why that's um, not, not painted. Ready! I've changed from, um, is it HXT uh, bullet connectors? I've had enough of them. I bought some, and I haven't got them here because I think I've burnt them. Um, I bought some from uh, eBay, I think it was, and they were the wrong connectors. So I bought some more, and they were the wrong connectors. So I've had enough of them. I've decided to go with the um, XT90s. So I've got to change absolutely everything with XT90s now. Anyway, I've done. Uh, I've done a couple of batteries. These are going to be be my uh, flight batteries. 
Now I've also, in preparation, I've um, made a, a parallel um, connector. So I don't know if you can see how I've done that. Where are we? So there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I've got some um, some of this. Oh come on! I've got some of this stuff, which is um, adhesive lined um, heat shrink. So I'm going to cover as much as I can. I may use some hot glue around there actually, um, and then put it on there because it it does look a lot tidier. So I'll do that and I'll show you. That's done. So now I can zoom out for a start. So now I can get two batteries and get them the right way around. Plug those in like that and now I've got where are we? Now I've got ten thousand milliamp uh, batteries there now on one connector. I wish I'd have done this years ago. These are far better than the HXT ones that I used to use. Far better. There you go. I've cut out a piece of plywood that I've put on the uh, top here. Uh, so I've got my tea beacon, which I think I'm going to put that antenna up right like that. Don't know yet. And I've also got my vector alerter. So. If I need to take these off, I can do. And they are, you know, it's very strong. So there you go, there's that. I finally got round to doing my computer desk or my workbench or whatever you want to call it because I do spend a lot of time at it, where it be building stuff or computer work or video editing or whatever so I've done it out so what I've got is I've got this mount here which is actually on the end of a shelf and then under here I've got lighting there but you can't see it don't care and then I've got all this all this real estate now so I've got plenty of room from this camera don't yeah so there you go I can now do build videos because everything's right directly down the camera is so I could show you some cable ties or zip ties or whatever I could show you a mouse you know what I mean it's much better in this monstrosity of wiring I've actually got easy UHF um, wires. Oh, f <sighs> what a dickhead! In this great uh, rat's nest of wiring. Mm. Well, I'm just getting it ready to uh, glue the two halves of the fuse lodged. <coughs> <coughs> Well, I'm just getting it ready to um, bollocks. I'm just getting it ready to glue the two halves of the fuselage together. Just to give you an idea of the size of this thing. I mean that uh, bollocks. It's all glued. Now, if you want to get what a bit oh, for f sake. Right, it's all done. It's um. And I've got my tracker on there, and I've also got my um, vector alerter, which is going to go on the top there, obviously. Oh, what a dickhead! I've cut out a piece of balsa wood. F balsa wood. 
I've cut out a piece of plywood that I've put on the top here. Oh. I finally got round to doing my workbench. Because I spend a lot of time here. Anyway, well it's a computer desk actually. Oh f off.